Hello everyone, my name is Lacey and today I have my wax empties and half empties from the last week to share with you. This is mostly Scentsy and a few vendors. So let's start with the half empties. The first thing I have here is from Britta's. This is the Bust to Nowhere. It's Icy Peppermint, Sweet Bakery Dough, Almond Biscotti, and White Cake. This is one of my favorite scents from Brita's. It's just so good. It's... So to me, I get cherry, mint, and that sweet bakery dough. And the longer I've had it, so this is from June of 2022. The longer I've had it, the more I get that sweet bakery dough with that like cherry note that I pick up. To me, it smells cherry. To you, it might not. But I feel like there's a cherry note in white cake and I can get cherry from almond also. So I get cherry here, but it's really good. <laughs> I love this Ugh, and it's so strong. This is just a really good scent, really good performer. And this is one that I would repurchase in the future. I got a loaf of it, so I have a good bit left, but I will definitely need more of this at some point. It's just so good. The next one I have here is from Super Tarts in Your Highness, and this is Cannabis Flower, Sandalwood, Vanilla Bean, Berries, and Orange. So this is kind of a head shop situation, and the longer I've had this one, the more that like berry note comes out. It's so, so nice. This is such a good scent. I feel like this one is underrated. I don't see a lot of people talk about this one. I just think it's so good. It's earthy, but it's also fresh, and then it's fruity from the berries. I It's so good. Ugh, I love it. I know a lot of people don't like when they see cannabis in a scent, but it's cannabis flower, so it's earthy, but it's like fresh and pretty at the same time. I don't, this is so good. So, so good. If you're an earthy, fresh lover, I would try this one. Those are the only two half empties that I have, so I'm going to go into the empty bags that I have. I have two little sample bags here from the bathing garden. The first one is Poisoned Apothecary. I think this is the first time that I tried this one and I like this. I'm not sure what the notes are but I feel like I get apple either an apple cider or like a caramel apple. I, it almost leaves more apple cider now that I'm smelling it again. There might be like cedar in here. I don't know. I could be completely off base, but I feel like that's what I get in here and it was nice. I would maybe grab a clam of that in the future. It did really well in the tea light warmer. And then I melted raspberry, razzleberry rage. I actually really liked this one. It almost reminded me of not the same, but in the same family as Vanilla Blackberry from Scentsy, and I love that scent. And I know I'm in the minority there, but I just really, really love that scent. It's like this earthy blackberry with this really nice musky vanilla. I love that scent. And this one kind of gave me those same vibes. Definitely different, a little bit more bright. Like the raspberry was a bit brighter than the blackberry and Vanilla Blackberry, but I feel like they're in the same family and I would get this one again. I don't, again, I don't know what the notes are on this, but it was more of a bright, fresh body care raspberry to me rather than like a realistic, juicy, <laughs> edible raspberry, but I really enjoyed it. I'm glad I finally melted that because I had held on to it for quite a while. I didn't think I was going to love it that much. And the next one is from L3 in Winter Snooze. This is Icy Peppermint, Herbal Lavender, and Chamomile. This is so beautiful. I did this through the bedrooms and bathrooms, and it was just this perfect, relaxing blend. I, I love lavender mint scents on their own, but you throw chamomile in, and it just takes it to a whole nother level. I love this so much. Mm, yeah, that's one that I would repurchase her snooze really good and it was super strong for the whole day so really good for me 
Then the last bag here is from Lurid Apothecary and Santa's Workshop. I just melted this last night in the tea light and the ball warmers in the kitchen. I didn't change out my wax all day and then when I was doing stuff in the kitchen I was like, you know what, I'm just going to throw something in the tea light warmer and the ball warmers in here and I decided to throw in Santa's Workshop. So this is balsam, candy cane, vanilla, and spice. And I really enjoyed it. And I don't remember loving this the first time I melted it, but this time I loved it. This is from November of 2021. So I feel like it's definitely gotten better with age, which is, you know, I know some wax does that, but it's still always a surprise when it happens. But this actually, I wouldn't even say that I necessarily get what it says here, balsam, candy cane, vanilla, spice. I don't necessarily get those scent notes. This smelled like a cola blend while it was melting. And it still does in the bag. It smells like cola and I love cola scent. So I really enjoyed this while it was melting. It was strong. Obviously I can't get this. She's not pouring anymore, but I did enjoy it. Okay. I think I have two more vendor things and then we'll go on to Scentsy. The first thing here is from Kay in Apple Fireside. This is Macintosh Apple, Palo Santo, and Marshmallow Fireside. This was so good. I think this is a scent that she still offers. This is obviously older because it's in the little two ounce scent shot, but I think she does still offer this scent. It's so good. You get that really nice Palo with obviously that like toasted marshmallow from the marshmallow fireside and then that mac apple is just like bright and crisp in there it's such a good combination especially for this time of year where the weather is kind of back and forth we're going back and forth between spring and winter and this was just a really nice blend for this time of year i feel like this would be a good blend for summer to fall transition also or even fall to winter transition it's a good seasonal transitional <laughs> scent. So yeah, I would get this one again. It was super strong. I did it in the tea light warmer, bulb warmers in the kitchen, and it was so strong all day and I could still smell it the next day in the bulb warmers. So I did really like that. And then the other one here is from Midnight Daydream. Every time I pull out the Midnight Daydream, I'm going to tell you that I wish he would pour again. His wax is amazing. It's a soy wax and it just gets better with age. All of these scents that I have are just getting stronger as they sit. He had beautiful blends. I just, I wish he would pour again. This is Fork in the Road. I don't know if I said that when I showed you, but it's Fork in the Road, roasted chestnuts, sandalwood vetiver, vanilla caramel cream, and caramel tobacco. Beautiful scent. This was just super creamy chestnut. And like, I got like the creamiest vanilla from this. It was so good. Ugh. Again, I melted this in the kitchen in the tea light and the ball warmers and it was so strong, lasted all day, could still smell it the next day. I wish I could get more of it. It's so good. Okay, on to Scentsy. Should we start with the testers this time? I'm still melting through testers, honestly. It will probably take me quite a while to get through all my testers, even though I'm melting three at a time. So I've just been randomly pulling out of the bag, the tester bag, and then melting one cent in each of the three warmers in my back room. So this first one here, and this actually, I started numbering them because when I would do these videos and try to remember which ones I melted together, it was taking me forever to remember and get them paired right. So I started numbering them so I remember. So the first day I melted pumpkin cinnamon swirl, which I do like. It's obviously, it's like a creamy pumpkin with cinnamon. It is kind of a red hot cinnamon, but it's a nice scent. And then the next one I melted with that was autumn hearth. And this one I've said it before, but I feel like I've been neglecting the catalog scents for so long because melting through these, I'm like, this is so good. Why have I not been ordering this and melting this? This one I really, really enjoyed. I feel like this has apple and spices, but it's, it's, 
so good. It almost gives that craft store vibe, but better, <laughs> if that makes sense. And then the third one that day was Harvest Blessings. Um, this one, this one's okay. I almost get, I almost get like a star anise from this one, which I don't mind. I actually like, like star anise or licorice kind of scents, but I don't know. This one's not a favorite. So out, this was a nice combination. Um, out of the three, I did smell autumn hearth the strongest in the back room and it was my favorite scent of the three so I feel like I would repurchase this one I don't even know if this was available last fall and winter but if I saw this pop up at any time I would repurchase that one the other two not so much but nice combination the next one here is pineapple mango and I do actually like this I don't always love pineapple or mango but I do like this one. It's a nice, bright, fruity scent without being super like heavy tropical cat pee <laughs> kind of scent. So yeah, I do like that one. Pineapple mango. And then the next one was Clementine Cupcake. I like this one too. I don't love it and it wasn't very strong. There's something a little weird about it. I don't know. It was okay, but not a love. And then the last one that day was Pineapple Pucker. This is just like straight pine pineapple with maybe like, there might be like an agave note in here. It's nice. That's not my favorite pineapple. I prefer the pineapple mango to the pineapple pucker, but... I don't know that any of these would be a repurchase, but it was a nice combination. Again, I've been really surprised by how well these, these combinations are working because I really just open the bag, I hold it up, I reach in, I pull one out, I reach in, I pull another one out, and then I melt them and see what, what comes of it. So I've been very surprised by how nicely like everything just blends together. This next one here, the first scent is maple apple bourbon this is a scent that my mom really likes in the pods and it smells really good in her car so I wanted to I don't think I've ever melted this actually like a full bar of it and it is a really nice scent it's not super heavy on the maple it's just uh, I don't know like a warm it does kind of seem like that like a warm drinkable apple yeah, I like maple apple bourbon. If this comes back in the fall, I will probably grab a bar of it to try. I'm sorry if you can hear the construction across the street. It's super loud. It wasn't before I sat down to do this, but now, of course, it's super loud. Okay, the second one that day was pumpkin roll. This is a well-loved scent. Not by me. It's not a favorite of mine. It's super light to me, and it's just not like the best pumpkin scent in my opinion but I know a lot of people really love that one I would be surprised if that one didn't come back although it has been around for quite a while so I don't know we'll see and then the third one that day was pumpkin chai and I actually really really liked this one and I was thinking that I didn't like this one that much <laughs> it was really nice it was almost like a canned pumpkin it was not that this is something you would do, but it was like a cup of chai and then you put like a scoop of canned pumpkin into it and mix it up. I don't know that that makes sense, but I really enjoyed the scent and it was much stronger than I remember it being. So I think I would repurchase pumpkin chai, but not pumpkin roll and I would repurchase maple apple bourbon. Again, this was a really nice blend. This would be really lovely in the fall time. So if pumpkin chai comes back, I think pumpkin chai was in the fall winter catalog this past season. Um, if pumpkin chai comes back, I would probably get a bar and mix it with maple apple bourbon because I did really like that combination. The next one here is dancing sugar plums. I think this is the second tester I've melted of dancing sugar plums in the last few weeks. This is nice. It's like a spiced plum but 
There's something brighter in here. I forget what it is. Yeah, it's like that deep plum with the spice, but then I get like a bright note. I don't know if it's a citrus or a cranberry, something brighter. I like that. It's not a favorite. I don't know that I'll repurchase it, but it was nice. And I melted it with vanilla blackberry, which is a favorite. I love the scent so much. I wish it was in my club. I, I think I was thinking that I'd put it in my club, but I never actually did. So... <laughs> I do have, I think, one or two bars left in my collection. I just love this scent so much. Ugh. It's just, like I said, it's an earthy blackberry with this musky vanilla, and it's so good. I know a lot of people get a certain smokable plant when they smell this. I don't get that at all. Yeah, I don't get that at all. I almost wonder if they're smelling something that that certain smokable plant is wrapped in from time to time because it just, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> anyway, I don't smell that, but I know a lot of people do. I just, I love this scent so much. Okay. And then the last one from that set was Be Merry. And I think Be Merry I'm not sure what's in here, but it's a, like a tree and berry scent. It's actually really nice. If this one comes back, I'll probably grab a bar of it because I did really like it. I mostly, while these three were melting, the strongest one was actually vanilla blackberry. And then I got some of the bee Mary and not a ton of the dancing sugar plums. That could be my warmers though. I don't have, like I have the summer rain warmer in the back room and that one I feel like is the best performer back there and that's what I put vanilla blackberry in. And then the other ones I have are the like pink Himalayan salt warmer and an older element warmer, which they do okay but they're not the best. So that could be why some are stronger than others back there, but definitely the vanilla blackberry was the strongest of these three when I melted them. So to know that. The next set here was Go Go Mango and I do actually really like Go Go Mango. It's always been fairly light to me but I do like the scent itself. It's like a very fresh mango scent, almost clean to me. Not necessarily super tropical like mango can come across because it's a tropical fruit but i like it more when it's like bright and fresh and clean so i do like go go mango i think there's some floral notes in there which probably help with that and then the next one was very bright and this smells like blue raspberry candy <laughs> this is so sweet it's almost making my teeth hurt yeah it's okay i don't think this is one that is for me but it's fun every now and then and then the last one for that set is pink cotton which I do love and I didn't club and it didn't come back it's such a good set it's like laundry and berries and it's so good Ugh. I love pink cotton I think I might have a bar or two of this Man, I can't believe they didn't bring that back. I really thought Pink Cotton was like a really popular scent, but I guess I was wrong. Um, but together, I did really like these. I smelled all of them, and actually the Go Go Mango was stronger this time, which was weird because it's a tester, and I put it in not the strongest performing warmer, but I actually really picked up on it. Pink Cotton was definitely the strongest in this combo, though. But like I said, I could smell all of, all of them but pink cotton is like an 11 out of 10 on strength. So okay. the next one is best in snow. Again, I think this is one that I slept on. I think I did get a bar of this when it first came out and maybe I just didn't love it when it first came out and my nose has changed because I really liked it this time. It has some mint, but I don't know. There's more to it. It was really pretty. It, it had mint, but then it also had this warmth, warmth to it, but then it was also like really fresh. I don't know. Ugh, that's so good. <laughs> I 
I am telling you, I really like dropped the ball on some of these scents. Um, Silver Bells, and this is weird because Silver Bells used to be a favorite of mine and now I don't really like it. I definitely think my nose has changed. It still smells good on cold, but I've melted it a few times recently and when I, because I wanted to see if I wanted to put it in my club. It came across chapsticky for some reason. I don't know why. I don't think there's anything in it that would make me think that. But I just didn't enjoy it. It was like getting in my throat and uh, I don't know. I used to love silver bells though. But I don't think I can do that one anymore. And then the third one with that scent was perfect. Peppermint. And this is just peppermint there might be like a slight vanilla note in here it's nice it's not like the strongest mint ever I definitely out of these three best in snow was actually pulling through the most and I really enjoyed it so out of these three if I ever saw best in snow pop up anywhere I would grab that one again the other two I don't know I, I would maybe grab perfect peppermint if I needed some minty scents um, if that comes back in the fall and winter, but we'll see. Okay, the last set here is cashmere and corduroy, which is like bergamot, sandalwood, vanilla, cashmere. <laughs> it's really, really nice. It's like a sweet cashmere scent. It's one that I reach for once or twice in the fall and winter so I didn't club this I'm hoping it comes back because I think it is popular it's a really nice scent and it's a really good performer it is strong you'll get a few days out of it I do really like it but like I said it's not one that I reach for super often so I didn't club it and then I melted winterberry apple tea with it and this is like apple honey tea I think there's some cranberry in here I used to love winterberry apple tea when it first came out it was like my favorite I melted it all the time so I think I overdid it a little bit I still love it I just don't melt it as often it's a really nice spiced apple cranberry scent it's really really nice good performer again and then the third one was first day of fall again first day of fall is one that I melt once a year pretty much on the first day of fall and I don't really reach for it any other time. I forget what the notes are here, but there's some spice in here. Not like straight up cinnamon. I almost get like a ginger. And again, I almost get like a slight star anise. I like it. It's not a favorite, but I do feel like I need to melt it on the first day of fall. So this was the weakest of the three cashmere and corduroy was the strongest but i could smell winterberry apple tea with it and i actually really liked this combo so i think i would do that again if they both come back okay on to clams Whew, i'm getting a little lightheaded <laughs> the first one here is rum raisin cookie rum raisin cookie is really good i have this in my club i think i'm I think I'm gonna keep it there <laughs> I have like two more days until my club processes and I I really need to take some more stuff out <sighs> but rum raisin cookie see and like right now I'm not in the mood for this kind of scent so I'm like yeah it's not that great I don't need it but I know when like fall and winter come back around later this year like we're definitely still in winter it actually kind of feels like our winter just started here in PA, but I'm I'm moving on to more spring kind of scents. So I feel like right now I'm like, eh, it's okay. I don't I probably don't need it. But I really, really like it. It's so good. It's it's like an oatmeal cookie with a bunch of like crumbly spices on top. Ugh. It's so good. I said before, but it reminds me of the Pat the Bunny book. There's a page where you can scratch and sniff some like snickerdoodle cookies and that's what it smells like to me. So it's also a little like nostalgic. I don't know. 
we'll see. I do really like this. It was a good performer. My husband liked this one too, so I don't know. We'll see. Cucumber Lime. Love this one. I have two bars currently in my bi-monthly club, and I do think I'm going to keep them there. I didn't expect to love this one as much as I do, but it is so good. It's a really pretty, almost body care kind of cucumber with a little bit of lime zest. It's just so like mouth-watering. Uh, it's, it's really relaxing to me. I really like this one. So I think this one is going to stay in my club. I think this will be really nice to blend with some stuff too. I have a few things in mind that I want to blend it with. It performed really well. I love that one. Cranberry Muffin. This was okay. I think I already took this out of my club. It wasn't my favorite. It doesn't smell like a cranberry muffin. It smells like batter, like muffin batter. But then the cranberry is a little perfumey. I like it. I do like it. Like if I had more, I would melt it and enjoy it, but I don't love it. So I think I already took that one out of my club. It was like a medium strength in the kitchen. I think I also did it in the entryway. Again, it was nice, but I didn't love it. Pink coconut. I already took this one out of my club too. I, I kind of liked this on cold, but when I melted it, it smelled like cat pee. I, so I thought that when I got it, I thought this was a papaya on there and I had to look up papaya because I was like, am I thinking of the wrong fruit? But no, it's a papaya and I feel like that's all that I was getting on warm. Like on cold, I still kind of like it. I don't know. On warm, all I got was this super strong tropical fruit that smelled like cat pee to me. So didn't enjoy it not gonna get any more of it I was really hoping for that pink clay note to just come through and shine but I didn't really get any of that on warm so yeah definitely not a favorite but this was strong for me possibly because I didn't like it but I know there's been kind of mixed reviews on like some people are like I can't smell it at all and some people are like this is so strong it was strong for me but I didn't like it I melted fried ice cream and I, I liked this one too I think I might have already taken this out of my club but it's really good I might regret that it's really good it's super spicy cinnamon like a red hot cinnamon but there's also a sweetness to it I feel like it's like a red hot cinnamon mixed with like a cinnamon sugar and I get this nuttiness from it. It might be like a buttery note, but to me it's like nutty and it does have like a crunch to it. It's kind of making my mouth water. <laughs> now I'm kind of hoping I didn't take this out. I don't know. It was nice. It was a good performer. My husband didn't like this one. He's not a big fan of cinnamon, especially like red hot cinnamon. But I feel like on warm, he didn't say anything about it on warm. He smelled it on cold and he didn't really like it. I feel like it really transformed on warm. So I really enjoyed it. It was a good performer. I could still smell it the next morning when I came downstairs. I kind of hope I didn't take that out. Or I hope it shows up in a flash sale or clearance at some point. Because I could just grab a few bars and be okay with that, I think. Anyway. The next one is Autumn Blaze Maple. This was another one that I took it out of my club as soon as I got it and then I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have. It's really nice. It's really nice. I do feel like I liked it more on cold than I did on warm, but it was still nice. It was a medium to strong performer in the living room, dining room entryway, but it has so it has maple, but again, it's not that like super heavy cloying kind of maple. I feel like there's some apples, some cinnamon, but it also has this like fresh outdoorsy kind of scent to me. I don't know. I did really like it. I guess it's okay that I took it out. I didn't love it on warm, but it does smell really good. 
Okay, I melted from the Sensepirations Collection Mango Shortcake. Really, really liked this on cold, but it did smell light. And when I melted it, it was super light. To me, it smells like mango and whipped cream, not necessarily any kind of cakey note in there. And it's go go mango, so it's more, again, it's that bright, fresh, kind of clean mango with whipped cream, which I do like. Kind of weird, but I do, I do like it, but yeah, it wasn't very strong. And I don't want to order a bunch to just let them sit and see if they get stronger. I accidentally do that sometimes, but I don't want to purposely order bars to let them sit to see if they get any stronger. If it wasn't an instant love, I really am trying not to keep things or put things in my club that aren't instant loves for me. So I took this out of my club. It was okay. It just wasn't what I wanted it to be. So it's nice not strong enough for me this one the mango wildflower from the Sensepirations was actually my favorite on cold um, but I melted it in the bedrooms and bathrooms upstairs and I was just like Meh. no it's okay I do still really like it on cold it kind of again has a similar feel to the vanilla blackberry to me I don't know if it's like a muskiness or what it is and I yeah I do still like it on cold but when I melted it I was just like it's a fruity floral it wasn't anything spectacular so I don't think I'm gonna get any more of that one it it wasn't the strongest I was gonna say it was strongest it wasn't the strongest of that collection it was more of a medium heading into strong performer the one that was the strongest was mango margarita and I actually did like this on warm this was my least favorite on cold but while it was melting I was like yeah this isn't bad it's it's kind of nice not one I need to repurchase or put in my club and it doesn't smell like a margarita to me it smells like a bag of gummy bears so which is fun every now and then, but that's not something I'm going to reach for very often. I would much rather have an actual margarita scent. Yeah, this really smells, this really smells like a bag of gummy bears to me. I just want like a super crisp, icy cold, lime, salty margarita scent. That's what I want, not this like super sweet gummy bear <laughs> margarita like I said it was nice it was fun it was strong I just didn't love it um, I melted peppermint rush and this is like I get peppermint I get spearmint I do get some like vanilla in here and it smells so good on cold this was not very strong for me and I was really surprised because it's mint it smells strong on cold yeah but it wasn't very strong for me I did the whole bar through living room dining room entryway and I remember just walking through and being like it's not that great <laughs> it's not that it's not what I want it to be so I took that one out of my club. I did order the, my legs falling asleep. I did order the mint scent from the Epcot collection. Is it wild mint or something? Those are up on the website right now. If you didn't know, they're available to purchase now. The, I, I want to say it was like wild mint. There's a rose one, heirloom rose. And then there's like a, what is it? Plumeria? something I don't know there's three new Epcot like flower and garden scents and then they also brought back French lavender sun well sun kissed citrus is available and what's the other one that's in there I think it's a pineapple scent or something and then there's a fragrance flower in sun kissed citrus they're all available on the website right now except for French lavender that's sold out but you can add it to a club and I think it's slated to come back um, to restock at the end of the month, I want to say. 
So yeah, those are out now. I'm super excited to get that set because I think I'm going to love all of them. <laughs> so yeah, I look forward to that. I hope I enjoy that mint more than I enjoyed this one. I know I melted Peppermint Rush when it was originally out, but I couldn't remember what I thought of it. It was just a little too light for me, so I took that one out of my club. Midnight Indigo. I loved this Indigo collection so much when it came out. If I remember correctly, this was like one of the first like limited time collections that Scentsy did. I could be wrong, but I feel like it was one of the first. I remember they always did like the scent and warmer of the month, and then aside from that, it was like the catalog scents. That's what you had. And then they did this indigo collection and it was like this whole big production. Like it came in this big, beautiful box. It had like the scent descriptions and then it had like, I don't know, little like stories about the creation of it. And I think there were even like playlists on Spotify. It was like this whole thing. These indigo scents were so nice. I think I had two sets and I think I melted through a set and then I held on to a set. So, And that was like 2015, 2016, I want to say. So this is an old bar, but it performed perfectly fine. And you can see it's kind of grody there on the bottom, but Midnight Indigo, I don't think they gave us actual notes for this one. I think it just said something about mysterious nighttime or whatever. I don't know. I, I really don't know what's in here, but my nose is almost getting like coconut, berry, and then there's like a muskiness in here. It's so nice. I have seen these up for Bring Back My Bar voting, um, and I voted for a couple of them, I think. So there was Midnight Indigo, Indigo Cotton, Indigo Berries, and what was the fourth one? Midnight Indigo, Indigo Cotton, Indigo Berries. Oh, I can't remember the fourth one. I think I have it back there. I can't remember. Indigo Berries was really nice too. I just, and like, look how beautiful these labels were. This collection just hit. It was so good. If they brought this back, I would definitely buy like the whole collection again. Anyway, really good, love that collection. Okay, but I definitely need to start melting like scents that I have from 2016 because <laughs> how much longer are they gonna be hanging in there? Speaking of old bars, I melted a Clementine Clove. You can see how old this bar is from the logo. <laughs> I don't know. I've been like checking my bars because people are always saying that there's um, pour dates and that they can see them. I cannot. I cannot see them on any. I've been checking old bars, new bars. I, I don't see pour dates on any of them. Anyway, Clementine Clove, so good. In the same family as like Wassel Wonderland, what were some of the other ones? Spiced Grapefruit. They had like a pomander one not too long ago. This is my favorite of all of them. So good. It's uh, it's that citrus without being, again, cat pee. I'm sorry, but I get cat pee from a lot of fruit scents. Um, but it's a really nice citrus and clove. It smells like a pomander. Like the most authentic one that we've had, I think. Ugh, it's so good, but this is definitely a one day and done kind of scent, but it's worth the day that you get out of it. So good, so strong, love that scent. I melted this Pretty and Plaid bar. I think I actually put this in last night. Yeah. I don't love Pretty and Plaid, but I didn't hate it this time as much as I have in the past. I used to like not be able to melt it at all because it just got in my throat, grossed me out. I don't know why, because I feel like everything in here are scents that I like. It actually smells good now. <laughs> it smells so much better than it did before. Like I said, I think my nose changed. I really didn't mind it this time. I'm not going to seek it out 
or repurchase it but if I had more of it I actually wouldn't be upset about it and I have had this bar for a very long time I never wanted to melt it right now actually I have red berry and spruce in the warmers look how grody this bar <laughs> is this is why I decided to melt it I'm still kind of working through my winter melting basket that I pulled back in like November or December I don't remember when but I'm still working through those because we are, like I said, having some colder days now and I'm just trying to get as much out of that basket as I can. Well, it's like multiple baskets, but I've gotten through so much of it and I just want to keep working on it as much as I can while we still have cold weather. So I pulled this red berry and spruce. It's a really nice scent. It's a good performer, super strong. It is that like berry scent with tree, but it's also a little cologne-y. It almost gives roll of the dice vibes, but much less body odor-esque. <laughs> this is like the better version of roll of the dice. I actually like roll of the dice. I don't mind it. I do pick up the body odor note on cold, but when I warm it, that kind of goes away. Not that, I mean, I still have the same bar that I originally got and I haven't melted it, but <laughs> I melted it like one time and that scent does go away for me on warm, but if you just want it to be gone right from the jump, this one is very similar, but without that note. And I do really like the scent. I don't know how easily you could get your hands on that one, but it was good. If I ever saw it available, I would grab a couple bars probably. Um, and then the last thing is I finished my brick of apple butter frosting. I like this scent. I know this is a love for a lot of people. It's a scentsy heartbreak for a lot of people. They didn't bring it back this last fall and winter. It is a really nice scent. Not a favorite of mine, but it's nice. Look how yellow <laughs> this brick is, but again, it still performed really well. This is like an original brick from when it first came out. It's nice. It's a creamy cinnamon. I don't get a ton of apple in here, like a little bit, but especially while it's melting, it's like a really creamy, more of like a cinnamon frosting to me. Um, it's a good scent. It's a good performer. It's not a favorite. I'm not heartbroken about it, but I do feel bad for people who lost out on this one. Um, I feel like we'll see this back in a bring back my bar at some point for sure. So anyway, that's everything that I got through this week. I'm happy to be getting through so many clams and testers. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying getting back into Scentsy more heavily. I I still love vendor wax, but I definitely, for me and my home and my nose, Scentsy is the most consistent performer for me. I'm definitely trying to like downsize my vendor wax and stick to the vendors that I know I love their wax and their scents and then order Scentsy aside from that. I know I've been melting a lot more Scentsy lately, but I definitely want to get through some of my Scentsy bars. That's a video I'm gonna have coming up. I need to organize my Scentsy collection, see what I have before I place another spring order. I need to see what I have. I need to get everything organized where they should be so it's easy to pull out what I want. I also wanna see what scents I have um, that are coming back for Bring Back My Bar in June. I know I have some of them on hand and I kinda wanna go through and see just how many of them I have and possibly melt through those and see if I need more when they come back. But yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with Scentsy right now. So that's everything for this video. Let me know what you've been melting and loving or melting and hating. Thank you all so much for watching. I have a little Walmart wax haul to record and then that's it for today. So I hope you're all doing well and I will talk to you all later. Bye.